let's talk about the rollout a little bit more here because the hope over this vaccine right now, it, it, it's palpable, but so is the anxiety. A Quinnipiac poll found 61% of people are willing to be vaccinated, but then there are other polls that show that people aren't as enthusiastic. There's an AP NORC poll that puts the number at only 47%. And one of our local city hospitals says that only 50% of hospital workers are comfortable getting the shot. So how do you convince people, particularly those on the front lines, that it's safe? Well, what you need to do is what we're trying to do is to go through the steps of how the vaccine was produced, tested, and then the evaluation was made whether or not it was safe and effective. And at each and every one of those steps where there is skepticism and concern, I think you can counter it with a real firm argument. First of all, some people say it was so quick. You just found out about this new disease in January. How could you possibly have a vaccine available to inject into people in December, which would be less than a year. And there's a good answer to that, in that the process is the quickest we've ever done in history, but that's because of the extraordinary advances in the techniques of the scientific basis for the platform technology that's used to make the vaccine.